Hey friends, greetings from Florida. This week marks our one year anniversary of hitting the road full time with our truck and camper. It's pretty hard to believe. Today we've got a special series where we're gonna highlight some of our favorite places we've been, as well as our top 10 RV boondocking products that we cannot live without. We'll make sure to post the product links in the description below, so make sure you check those out. Number one boondocking product that we cannot live without. As you know, us Larisons love our coffee. And with a lack of full-time electricity in our camper, we had to think outside the box. Bodum Starbucks French Press has been a lifesaver. Keeps us functioning every morning. It's plastic, so you don't have to worry about it breaking inside your camper. I would buy this product over and over and over again if I had to. We broke our previous French press when we were in Lake Havasu, like right at the beginning of our journey. And we literally went everywhere in Lake Havasu to try to find a French press. And last resort, we decided we gotta go to Starbucks. Surely they have one. Sure enough, Starbucks and this Bodum French press is perfect for traveling. It's plastic. You don't have to use electricity, like she said. Um, everyone carries a pot with them already. So why not boil your own water, grind your own beans, and have coffee on the go without using electricity. Number two on our list of boondocking products that we cannot live without, a portable rechargeable coffee bean grinder. This has been stellar. My dad got us this when we left Missouri last. He knows we're big coffee fans and we drink a lot of coffee. We've been using pre-ground coffee, but really the grinds are too fine for a French press and so you get a lot of grittiness with them. So this is great because you can grind the beans to your liking. We've been on the road with it probably three months now and we've only had to recharge it three times. I've never seen it below 50% charge either. So super efficient, super reliable. You don't have to charge it very often. Um, it comes with its own charging cord that plugs right in. So number one on our list, number two on our list, both coffee related. And I highly suggest you guys buy these for yourselves. Cannot live without them. So number three on our list of boondocking must-haves is our Lifesaver Jerry Can. You can't live without water, so obviously you need some water filtration. This is not only a water storage source, but it filters any water source you come across, minus probably sewage. It filters down to 20,000 microns, has a carbon filter for filtering to taste, and it's just incredible. We have used this for a couple years now, and before we even started our RV travels, it could be used up to 700 times before needing to replace the filter. So very handy at 4.9 gallons of storage water. All right, freshly filtered out of Oak Creek. That's some good water. That's some high quality H2O. Number four of our boondocking must-haves is our Zarja's K470 aluminum bear box. This is grizzly approved for bear storage, helps keeps bears out, other critters, scents, smells, ants, you name it. We absolutely love this and can't live without it. This is something that's super handy because it's portable between the truck and camper if we've got day trips. It's got spring-loaded handles and it's super cool on how it opens up. It's also a stackable container. It has these lanyards so the box doesn't just flip open. It's really nice. We keep all of our dry goods in here that we want to have for any kind of day trip usage. Yeah, anywhere there's grizzlies, back black bears, or really any kind of bears and critters, it's a good idea to have some bear-proof storage. Now for this to be truly grizzly resistant, you have to have a lock, padlock, on both latches here. We, most of the time we have it stored in our camper, which is good enough. Um, and in the truck. I mean, they can get in there. So it, it just in general, to keep the smells away, when you literally open this, you can smell all the food in here. It's pretty incredible how well it does seal everything off. What do you think? Looks like this is our new pantry. So again, this is the Zarge's K470 Bear Approved Bear Box. Number five on our list are these Luminade Lanterns. 
that we have. My parents got these for us when we first hit the road and we've used the heck out of these because we don't want to run our batteries down at night and so when we need light we just turn these on. They're solar powered and they're LED lanterns so they provide optimal light. You can set it to red, you can set it to white, they dim down. They're floating lanterns, so if you ever need them on a body of water, you can use them. They charge your phone if you need to charge. And really, they're just incredible, and we've used them to their fullest potential. They've been great. You can relieve the valve on it and compact them down, so they're really handy for even backpacking or camping, float trips, you name it. I highly suggest these because we can charge them in the sunlight or charge them off of our solar during the day and then be able to use them through the evening and not run our house batteries down. So number six here is a very recent purchase of ours and it's something we wish we bought a lot earlier is this dual portable fan. It's battery powered with a five amp 20 volt battery. It doesn't come with it, you gotta purchase it separately. This has just been a game changer. We used to have a plug-in fan that we would use on those really hot nights, but it would continually run our battery down. So this has been one of those great exceptions where we can, we've can we been able to run it several nights in a row without running out of battery. And just being able to keep that air moving. Because when you're boondocking, most of the time you can't run your generator between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m., which may be some of the warmest and most stagnant, humid times of the night. So you don't really want to open your windows, but you want to keep some air flowing in your camper. This is it. It is uh, changeable. You can change the direction of it. It even has a portion where you can hang it. Uh, so super handy fan. It's, it's really nice. It's something that we couldn't live without. Number seven on our list is our best tech 500 watt pure sine wave power inverter. This is a must have for boondocking. We actually have two of these. This one's our portable one that we use in the truck. We can use it either in the cab or at the tailgate. So if we're working out of the truck remotely, we can use it there, but it's also our main power source in the camper as well. So this is what I love about the location of our power inverter. It's kind of a dual use. When we're outside cooking, we have access to it here. It's got dual USB ports for passive charging. It'll run without the inverter on. And then it's also got two typical three pong plugs. So here's our best tech pure sine wave 500 watt power inverter mounted inside our kitchen portion here. And we've got a six plug surge protector plugged in that runs into the camper and feeds the inside. So super handy location. We can access it from the inside, the outside, just by the flip of a switch. Keep in mind though, this is not hardwired and grounded with this portable plug. You can only use up to 150 watts with this style plug. Now, if you do hardwire it and truly ground it, then you'll get the full potential of the 500 watt capability. So this is great, must have. It's got dual USB ports. It's got the three prong plug. By the flip of a switch, you got power on tap. Most people may know that your typical plug-ins in a camper are not active when you're not plugged into a constant power source. So if you wanna be able to charge your electronics, you really do need a pure sine wave power inverter. And it needs to be pure sine wave because most new electronics, if it's stepped, can damage them and render them unusable. So you wanna make sure it's a pure sine wave power inverter. Again, this is a must have for charging your electronics while boondocking, because again, your plugs aren't going to be active if you don't have a generator running or you don't have a constant power source. So if you need to recharge anything, this is it. Number eight on our list is our 130 watt Sun Gold Power suitcase solar panel. This has been a great solar panel. It's kept our batteries topped off and our electronics charged. It's got a built-in charge controller, super handy. It comes with alligator clips so you can plug in directly to your battery, or you can use an adapter port for your Furion solar port charger. Number nine on our list of boondocking must-haves is our Champion Dual Fuel 
3,500 watt inverter generator. Wow, that thing is quiet. Holy cow. My air conditioner is louder. Yeah. This has been our lifeblood of charging. So we can run our AC, we can run our hot water heater, we can run our microwave, and just generally recharge our batteries when we're out boondocking in the woods. We also purchased this gin tent weatherproof cover here so that we can safely run it in the rain or snow. It's been great, especially when we were in the Pacific Northwest and it was super rainy and cloudy out. Be able to make sure that our equipment is running safely and properly. This is something that we couldn't live without. Number 10 on our list of boondocking products we can't live without is this Netgear Nighthawk 4G AT&T Wi-Fi device. We've used the heck out of this because we work remote full time from our camper so we absolutely need Wi-Fi. It comes with a dual band antenna that improves our signal tremendously. This antenna also improves the quality of our calls for working remote. Here watch this we have one bar LTE right now just without the Wi-Fi device plugged into the dual band antenna. As soon as you plug it in, oh our signal jumped from one bar to now two to three bars which is incredible. Most antennas or other Wi-Fi devices that come with antennas are single band it doesn't really improve the quality of the signal whereas the dual band antenna that we have that came with this Netgear improves the quality of the signal tremendously. Definitely one of the products that we cannot live without while working remote and while boondocking. And this rounds out our series of top 10 products for boondocking that we can't live without. We hope you enjoyed our list here. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If there's something you recommend, place it in the comments below as well.